Hey, welcome aboard. Do one last check to make sure that your harness is attached at eight points and your ejection seat is armed. We're overhead, Mom. We're gonna recover in about four minutes. Hang on. My call sign is pale. I was a growler pilot for a little over 10 years, and now I'm currently a T-45 flight instructor in the United States Navy in Kingsville, Texas. This video starts with the Case 1 recovery aboard the ship. Case 1 recoveries are going to happen when mom or the ship is reporting greater than 5 miles of visibility and over 3,000 feet of a ceiling on top of the ship. So in other words, when there's really nice weather like there is today. We're checking in in low holding or technically port holding above the ship, which is a left hand pattern tangent to the BRC or base recovery course, which is basically the ship's magnetic heading overhead the ship with the ship at the three o'clock position and a diameter of about five nautical miles above the ship. Currently we're at 3000 feet. There's another fighter that's cross circle to us at 2000 feet and someone else at 1000 feet. And there's a Hawkeye above us, which you'll see soon enough uh, at 4000 feet. We're in low holding and once we uh, we're cross circle, another fighter at 2,000 feet and when that fighter decides to descend because his traffic in front of him has descended, we will sequence ourselves in to descend a beam and after the ship from 3,000 to 2,000, eventually to 1,000 feet on this particular turn that we're making now in order to set, us, set ourselves up for the overhead. So as we come around, we're about a beam the aft end of the ship. The fighter in front of us has decided to go for it and uh, go for the overhead now. So we're descending down to 2,000 feet and eventually to 800 feet as we approach Mom or the ship. So we're in a slow descent. We're in a left-hand turn. We've got about 90 degrees of turn or so more to go as we approach the overhead, which is going to be at 800 feet. At 800 feet, we're going to fly overhead the ship with Mom just underneath our left wing and then we're gonna break on our interval traffic. However, in this particular case, you're gonna see here in a moment, and there's mom at our left 11 o'clock or so as we roll wings level and accelerate to 350 knots at 800 feet. The preceding traffic has uh, had to go around due to there being uh, a foul deck. Now as they overfly the ship, you'll see that there's a fighter on the flight deck that's unable to clear the deck in time. The preceding traffic was told to go around and they've extended upwind about a mile or so upwind. So instead of going well upwind and braking, I've elected to spin it or climb up to 1,200 feet, nice tight pattern within three miles or so, and basically come right back around for the overhead as the traffic ahead of me continues upwind and eventually is going to turn back downwind. So the new plan now is to let the traffic in front of me land, uh, and then I will brake to follow them, and that will be my new interval. Only the Hawkeye and the tankers are behind me. So for this pattern, we're just keeping it nice and tight nice big pull 1200 feet within three miles or so we've got about another 90 degrees or to or so, turn or so in order to make let's see here make that 180 degrees with the turn as we come around the corner here we went up to 1200 feet now we're going to send right back down to 800 feet add a little bit of power on the end and we're going to put mom right at that same spot right underneath her left wing. you can see me looking at mom looking at my interval kind of figuring out what the game plan is going to be now Got about another 45 degrees worth of turn or so to go as we roll out. Let's see, you should be able to pick up mom here in just one potato. And there she is, cool. So nice, easy, smooth rollout. We're just a single ship today, so it can be a little rough with it if we need to. We're rolling wings level, putting mom right underneath her left wing. We're 800 feet or so, and I'm looking for my interval. My interval is now just a little bit forward of the ship. You can't quite see it with the haze out there, but a little bit forward of the ship on the left-hand side. So I'm going really fast, 350 knots or so. My interval is going pretty slow in the landing configuration, about 160 or so. So I'm going to go well upwind of the ship, about a mile and a half to two miles or so, and then break. That way I can follow that traffic in front of me and not have to wave off again for a foul deck just like he did. Okay, so now we break. Throttle comes to idle. We're going to roll up about 70 degrees angle bank on the horizon. Pull, drag that velocity vector across the horizon in order to stay level as the throttle goes to idle and slowly slow down from 350 knots to less than 250 and once we get there which is coming up pretty soon right now boom there it is gear down flaps full as we transition into the landing configuration we're going to roll out parallel to the ship's brc we're just going to go in the opposite direction of it about 1.5 miles or so depending upon our gross weight and you can see just to the left of the hud there's just that red chevron right now indicating that our gear is down and we are fast as we slow down to landing configuration. 
That fast is eventually going to turn into an amber donut, a potato. Yep, there it is. Nope, not yet. There it is, a little fast. Now we're on speed, and on speed is how we land aircraft. Maybe. As we approach the round down or the fantail of the ship, it's going to be a little power, a little pause, and a little turn. I'll just start that 27, 30 degrees angle bank turn. From the beam to the trap point, eventually the timing should be about 45 seconds or so as we're coming around the corner. We're at the 135 now. As we approach the 90, we should be about 450 feet or so as we're coming around. And as we roll wings level on the back end of the ship, from when we roll wings level to when we trap should be 15 to 18 seconds in the groove, which is our normal groove length for a good okay pass. So as we're coming around here, we're at the 45 or so, should be about 370 feet or so as we're coming around. See the wake of the ship, not too big today, meaning that the mom, mom isn't making a lot of running wind. There's quite a bit of wind out there. Okay, here we're coming to the wings level transition and we roll wings level potato, 15 to 18 seconds. Now my scan goes to Meatball, line up, angle of attack. Meatball, line up, angle of attack. Constantly making a right hand turns in as the LA is drifting from my left to my right. Line up, angle of attack, meatball, line up, angle of attack. A little high, working it down, a little high on glide path and mill power, very violent, boom, trap. Signaled by the director, Thwala comes back, saying feet off the brakes. So he's with hands up in the air, I mean, you can see him at our left 10. Cool, he tells us to fold our wings. Now he's going to tell us to start that right hand turn he's gonna say quickly get out of the la because there's a hawkeye and a tanker behind you and i want you out of there he's gonna say turn right or so as we turn towards l2 we're taxiing out of the la or the landing area now towards the director you see him at, uh, right in my hud now saying come forward come forward he's moving his hands quickly saying get out of the la quickly 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 now he's going to tell us to turn to our left or so as i think in this case they're going to park us in the four pack which is on the bow of the ship. So he's telling us to turn left. He's pointing to another director, the new director is on the left, and you can see the director at my left 10 or so telling me to come forward, forward, go forward, nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. Now he's telling us to kick over that left battle, nose wheel steering, cool. I pointed him to come forward. And he's gonna eventually hand us off to the another director that you can see at our left 10, standing out in the open over there between the uh, parked aircraft. So he's handed us off, but now we're just taxing to head towards him. A little left turn, cool, and we're taxing, taxing, taxing. And you can see where this is going to go. There's a director all the way on the bow of the ship on Catapult 2. Remember, Catapult 1 is going to be on the right side on the bow. Catapult 2 is the one that's on the left. And the director's all the way over there at the end of Catapult uh, 2 on the business end of the ship. And he's saying, come towards me. So now we're looking at him. We're taxing all the way over there. And we're going to have to make a left turn and another left turn. We're going to turn around and park in that direction. Now, as we approach the uh, the bow of the ship, there is no scupper on the bow of the ship. The scupper is like a little wall, uh, about three inches tall, that's around the, the sides of the ship. The low speed, low angle will stop you from taxing off the end of the ship. God forbid you do something silly. There's no scupper on the end of the bow or... Um, where the waste cats come off the ship or on the fantail because that's where people are expected to fly off or taxi off the ship, which makes sense. In this particular case, you can see the scupper and kind of like it. And look down to your left now, you can see it. There it is, a little white wall there. Now the Super Hornet, the uh, nose gear is behind the pilot, so it's completely possible for your feet, your toes to be over the water when your nose gear is on the flight deck, which is a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the ride along. If you enjoyed the jam, please like, comment, and subscribe. Buy me a beer if you like. The details are in the description. Welcome to Growler Jams.